The government is considering additional COVID measures to contain the latest infections. And the co-chair of the multi-ministry task force, Lawrence Wong, says an update will be provided soon. Mr Wong has expressed his disappointment over the recent cases at KTVs. He says in times of crisis like this, personal choices have an impact on the community. Mr Wong has strongly urged those who have visited the KTV lounges to get tested and isolate themselves. And with the KTV cluster swelling to nearly 90 cases now, some shops in areas known for their nightlife are feeling the impact on their business and operation. That's even though these establishments are not part of the cluster. Geraldine Yap with more. This KTV at Middle Road is one of the latest establishments ordered to shut due to likely ongoing transmission of COVID-19. And one neighbour is already taking precautions. Everyone do the ART test and also go for the swap test of voluntary. Anyway, it's free. And then uh, to tell them watch out for their health for the next 14 days. You know, anything that uh, is not right, just stay home. You know, because we are just beside. We don't know whether they got uh, walk past our restaurant or any form of uh, contamination. I'm not sure about them. Mr Ko adds that his business has not been affected yet and he's hoping it stays that way. But at Juchet Road, where there are at least 10 KTV lounges, some shops say they're starting to see an impact on business, even though the establishments here are not involved in a growing KTV cluster. The supper crowd totally died. Um, there were probably like maybe two or three tables that came in. Yeah, apart from that, like in terms of like the drinking crowd that came, yeah, there wasn't anybody at all. So definitely I, I foresee that the business will drop yeah, in the next few days. Besides, you know, the, the business part, um, the other concern will be the, the safety of my staff. Lah. Definitely, you know, we, we will never know, you know, who are infected actually, you know, visited our, 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 our outlet. No doubt it's just a walk-in, but you know, there's a, still a risk. Over in Jalan Besar, which is also known for its nightlife, it's a similar situation. I took a walk around the area just now and saw at least 15 to 20 KTV lounges and pubs along the main Jalan Besar Road and some of the smaller streets like this. Now, while there doesn't seem to be any COVID-19 case related to any of these establishments so far, some of the neighbouring shops that I spoke to say that it seems like people are already staying away, with business falling by about 20 to 30% according to some estimates. But others say that business has already been slow to begin with. Free COVID-19 testing has been extended to anyone who has visited the affected locations or similar KTV lounges between 29th June and 14th July. The Hawker Centre at Block 75 Lorong 5 Topayo has been closed until further notice after one stall had uh, was linked uh, to the KTV COVID-19 cluster. One stall hand, that is. Uh, two stall holders say all of them must undergo testing and quarantine. And they say the health ministry informed them yesterday afternoon that they will need to be isolated at dedicated facilities until the 25th of this month. Workers were seen cleaning and disinfecting the premises this morning. Vishanto Payo Town Council says this will be carried out tomorrow as well. CNA has reached out to the town council for more information on the closure.